Going well over now to Brenda Ordonez, who has been tracking other voter issues across the tri-state. So Brenda, where are you and what are some of the other issues that have been popping up? Yeah, Trisha, Megan, I'm currently in Scott High School. It's turned into a polling location here in Taylor Mill. It's part of Kenton County. Now, according to a Duke Energy Power outage map, there's about 2,000 customers within this area that are being impacted by a power outage. I was just inside this polling location here, and things are still running as normal. The lights are still on. People are still coming and going. Now, I did talk to Kenton County clerk, Gabrielle Sums, and she says that even if this polling location was impacted by that power outage, they do have have backup options that she says that their machines are equipped with a four hour battery as well as they have pre printed ballots that people would be able to fill out and then put into a locked emergency box. So really they've thought of everything if these incidents do start to impact this polling location here. Now we did start to see other issues further down south still in Kenton County in Independence where the dress code caused some chaos there. Waiting for an hour to cast his vote, Jason Drawn was shocked when a Kentucky election worker stopped him at the door and told him he would not be able to vote unless he took off his shirt or turned it inside out, saying it was against state law to wear political clothing at polling places. Jason says the election worker asked other voters to do the same, noting one voter took off her shirt and voted in her bra. Jason says the weight of his vote was enough to do what the election official said, even if he knew it was wrong and humiliating. According to a spokesperson for Kentucky Secretary of State Michael Adams, Kentucky voters can wear candidate t-shirts into polls as long as they just vote and leave. We reached out to the Kenton County clerk, Gabrielle Sum, who admits what happened to Jason and others was a mistake. She confirms poll workers did undergo training where they were briefed on the dress code, but says it can be challenging for longtime workers to adjust to new regulations. If I do my due diligence to be on top of them, that I shouldn't get there and be told by one of them that I'm not in, in, in line, you know, and then have to go through all that to come back and be told you were right. Now, again, some says she has sent out several messages to polling workers across the county, reminding them that in Kentucky, voters are allowed to come in uh, campaign clothing. They just have to leave right after. They can't linger unless they're 100 feet away from that polling location. Now, again, that's for Kentucky. Ohio has its own set of rules, a little more stricter in what people can and can't wear to the polls. We do have a full article on www.fox19.com that breaks that down. So if you're heading to the polls, make sure you take a look at that. For now, live in Taylor Mill, Bernard Donias, Fox 19 Now.